the blood of Jesus still has miraculous power. The blood of Jesus still. Now let me ask you a question and be honest with me. Do you get tired hearing about the blood of Jesus? No, I want to know. Do you get tired? Isn't it amazing that you can never get tired as much as we've been talking about it? You don't get tired of hearing about the blood. Is that not amazing, Brother George? God bless you. Good to see you as always. Is it not amazing that you can never get tired about hearing about the blood of Jesus? We, we will never get tired because we understand the power that it possesses. My God, we are under the covering of the precious blood of Jesus, the miraculous blood which prevails which is still at work in the name of Jesus. Today is the month of December, the 13th of the month, getting closer towards the end and the closing pages of the story of 2018. My God, in Jesus' mighty name, we started off with a whole bunch of characters. You know when you watch a movie, you start off with a whole bunch of characters and by the time the movie is over, somebody is always been eliminated. Anytime you watch these action movies, you know, we start off with a whole bunch of characters. And by the time the movie is over, there are some faces that were at the beginning that you don't see again at the end. My God, we started off this year powerfully with our plans, with our you know, uh, prophetess with our own, you know, agenda. It was a story, which you didn't know. There were some characters which have been programmed to be eliminated. And listen to this now. It is only God who can show you through visions and dreams. Somebody's calling me, they probably need money. Let me find my phone and silence it. Somebody probably needs some money. But God is good. But listen to this now. Listen to this now. Listen to this. Listen. But it is only those who know their God, the God who knows the end from the beginning. Am I making sense? He can tell you what is coming because he knows it all. He has the whole world in his hands. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Let's get ready to pray. But listen to me. Go to the book of Psalms, chapter 9, verse 12. Psalms 9, verse 12. Psalms 9, verse 12. Let's go there. In the mighty name of Jesus. Maybe it's anybody. Let me see what this is. Hello, how can I help you? Hello? Yes, sir. In Jesus' name. Hello, who's this? No, I didn't. Am I? The devil is a liar. Okay? The devil is a liar. Can't distract me. You hear the phone ring? Telling me I called them. I said, I never called you. Can't distract me. Get off my get off my airways. Psalms 9 verse 12. You know, sometimes because of, you know, maybe when the person, you know, you think as it's an important call, maybe it's an emergency, you pick up the person, say, I called them, I say, I didn't call you. The devil is a liar. Psalms 9 verse 12. Listen to this now. Listen to this. It's going to bless you. Psalms 9 verse 12. I want to read it in the King James. New King James. Psalms 9 verse 12 says this. Listen to this now. When he avenges blood, he remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the humble. Okay? When he, that is God. When he avenges blood, he remembers them. He does not forget the cry of the humble. So, 
you know, those who have been taken up prematurely. Where just now, there comes a time where God avenges. He is the avenger, not anybody else but Him. Anybody else who tries to do avenging, what just now, is almost like it's witchcraft. It is God who does the avenging. Do you see what I'm saying? But then I have to, I have to understand the world that I live in to make sure that I don't become a victim for those who are after blood. Go to, uh, mm, go to Psalm 16 verse 4. Psalm 16 verse 4. I want to show you something. This is how this one is going to mess up the 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 parties which are going to take place those who are in the realms of darkness we, 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 revelation is coming psalms 16 verse 4 listen to this now listen to this psalm 16 verse 4 their sorrows shall be multiplied shall be multiplied who hasten after another god which is now their drink offerings of blood i will not offer Pay attention to that. Okay? Their drink offering is not anything but blood. It specifies it. I will not offer. Mm. Nor take up their names on my lips. But I want you to pay attention to the sentence which says, Their drink offerings of blood I will not offer. What they use as an offering, what they use to her, as a sacrifice, what they use to appease the God that they serve is blood. And the word is telling us, Sister Cheryl, because what is now, remember the counterfeit, remember the faith, remember what Lucifer saw in the beginning because of the closeness or the fact that Lucifer was in the presence. So he understands that what gives you access, what seals the deal. There has to be a language that is spoken, and that language can only be spoken by blood sacrifice. So pay attention to the first psalm that we read from Psalm 9, verse 12. You hear him talking about those who are humble. Isn't it amazing that it is those who are humble, those who are innocent? Sometimes you hear somebody, sometimes that, oh, an innocent bystander got shot up. They finished the investigation to find out that he had nothing to do with it. She had nothing to do with it. Have you ever wondered why those things happen? Sometimes you hear of these drive by and they miss the target. And an innocent bystander, Sister Sheila, gets caught up in it. Sister Marilyn, and you're like, my God, we live in a wicked world. Where the one who is wicked seems to be able to, you know, miss or, you know, doesn't find themselves where this not as the target but you the innocent one you the one who hasn't done anything to deserve you are the one that gets caught up and the bible tells you the bible is not letting you feel as though because you are you know innocent or because you haven't done anything you know nothing bad is going to happen to you it is letting you that is why the avenger comes god comes where this now to make sure that those who have taken that blood or the wicked ones get dealt with Sister Cheryl, years ago, somebody, somebody made this statement. A man of God made this statement. And up till now, I don't think I've got a revelation. Remember when Cain killed Abel? Remember the story? Remember the story? Cain killed Abel. Just after they've sacrificed. Cain killed Abel. You know the story, right? So in just conversation, we're talking about our work and, you know, our warfare and the place that we need to pray and how we cannot claim ignorance. Are you, are you with me? And he made this statement, Sister Cheryl, and he said, where was God when Cain was killing Abel? Sister Cheryl, I lie not to you, I was on the mountain praying, the whole place went quiet. Prophetess, the place went quiet. I said, my God, you've asked the question. I said, you've asked that question. He said, where was God? And the question that he was asking, prophetess, it wasn't in a disrespectful way towards God. Am I making sense? 
He wasn't trying to put God on a spot. Rather, he was trying to put those in the conversation that we're having. He was trying to get you to start thinking. Do you see what I'm saying? Because just because you don't know. I heard one, uh, there's a celebrity here in Ghana. I think it was a Ghanaian celebrity. And he's on the news. And he was basically saying that he doesn't believe in the prophetic. And I said, that's, that's your business. You know what I'm saying? I said, that's your business. You don't believe in it. That's your business. It doesn't mean that there, you know, that there isn't prophecy or that prophecy is not real. You choosing not to believe in it does not diminish the fact that that thing is there or it's not there. Am I making sense? So you not recognizing that even if you are humble, even if you are a forgiving person, even if you are a nice person, even if you don't think evil of somebody, it does not exempt you from what is being plotted or being planned by the wicked one. It doesn't. It doesn't. Because what is now in Psalms 9 verse 12. Let's go back there. Psalms 9 verse 12. If I read it again. He does not forget the cry of the humble. Why is it that the humble that is crying? Why is it not the wicked that is crying? Mr. Marilyn, can you answer? Sister Trina, can you answer me? Sister Cheryl, why is it the humble that is crying? Why is it not the wicked that is crying? Why is it that those who are righteous are the ones that are crying? Because I ain't done nothing. Why are you coming after me? Why am I your target? I ain't done nothing to you. I don't think that I pay my tithe, I give my offering, I look after the poor, the sick, I do all of that stuff. Why are you coming after me? You know why? Because what you don't know is that you are the Bible that somebody is reading. And when they watch you and they see what you are doing, they are trying to change their life so they can become like you. But what is now? So anytime they see you struggle and they see you going through hell the voice that speaks to them tells them look at this person look at that person they claim to serve god but look how they're struggling their god can't help you you see what i'm saying so that is why even in all these things that we do all the good things that we do guess what if we don't have that inner tenacity, if we don't have that prayer life, if we don't understand the warfare that we go through, guess what? It will bring us down to a place where we'll become ridiculed. And so listen to me. We will continue to deploy the power of the blood of Jesus. The month of December. The days of December. All the days of our lives until god finishes with us or maybe god will give us a break but in my spirit i feel the need for us to just keep on pushing in this month of december my god we will end it well we will end it with all power we will end it with all strength we will end it with all the confidence that we need and I want us to decree and declare it. Can we do that? We are decreeing and declaring it in Jesus' name. No other name but the mighty name of Jesus. No other power. No other God. No other entity. No other strength. No other authority. No other throne. Visible or invincible. I ask the Lord to, to, to begin to show us between now and the end of the year those invincible things which are being plotted and being planned against you and I. Those things that are in the realms of the invincible but that are being pushed to the visible to surprise us. Any surprise attack, anything which will creep upon us by surprise, Anything that we haven't budgeted for, my God. Anything that we haven't been prepared for. 
anything that wants to come our way my god in the name of jesus that we have not been ready for may it not come near our dwelling places may it not come near our children may it not come near our children may it not come near our loved ones may it not come near our loved ones in the matchless name of jesus you know something happened in the uk yesterday i don't know if you paid attention to it the prime minister within her own party said to cheryl there were people who were not happy because you know the united kingdom is coming out from europe the eurozone and so this is the violence that they have you know they had to do some i don't really understand the whole thing but i know they have to get a deal and i think there's some people who are not happy with the deal that she has gotten so far and so within her own party or just now or just now they were plotting to oust her they were plotting to get rid of her within her own party just to share, not the opposition you see what i'm saying so imagine you know within the republican party the republicans themselves get into you know uh, uh some sort of you know a few of them decide to get rid of president trump so that is what was happening in the uk thing you know the prime minister you know theresa may they were trying to get rid of her so you know uh there was some movement behind the scenes my god within their own party and they had to get a certain level or a certain number of people to write certain letters so when they got the right number of people who wrote the letters they now had to vote and i was following it and i'm trying to figure out what is going on because you know britain is home too you know so trying to figure out what's going on up there i'm like god what is going on so they voted last night and she had to get a certain number you know because it's called a, a, a vote of no confidence if they vote if a lot of them vote that they don't have no confidence you have to resign so she had to you know basically speak to them and then they went to vote secretly and in the end it came out that she got a lot of votes so you know now she's still the prime minister and they will not get they cannot get rid of her for at least another year because of what they've done according to their laws they can nobody can rise up and challenge her for another year but notice, Mr. Cheryl, the attack did not come from the opposition. It wasn't the opposition. It wasn't the other party. It was people in her own party. Listen to me, folk. Most of the time, we spend time looking outside. Sister Marilyn, Sister Robin, we spend time looking outside and thinking the devil is on the outside. When most of the time it is an internal agenda. Friendly fire. The one who sat with you. The one who you shared some secrets with. It wasn't the Labour Party that came after Theresa May. It was the Conservatives themselves. A few of them rose up against it. Somebody was after her seat. God! Somebody said, I want to lift up my throne. I want to lift up my seat above that of the prime minister. That is what somebody was saying 24, 48 hours ago. They had plotted it for months, for weeks, because there was murmurs coming out. And some names were being dropped. You know, we knew a few people who were challenging it, like Boris Johnson and one or two others. But there were some names that have started coming out that is surprising people. Instead of backing the elected leader, those in your own party, in your own cabinet, in your own house, were plotting against you. Listen to me. Listen to me. I don't care what you think or what you might want to believe. Listen to me. This warfare is real. Pay attention. The United Kingdom the role that it plays in the world america the role that it plays in the world look at the shakings and the warfare which is taking place in all of these nations across the world 
God will allow certain situations to come so that we can get revelation. I heard Bishop Noah Jones say it this way. He said, God uses situations for revelation. God uses situations for revelation. So we've got to ask God, God, what is the meaning of this? He said, check your house. What is the meaning of this? Focus on the inside. Stop looking at that on the outside. Begin to pray against the things which are in the family, which are in the bloodline. And if you go into in the history of the party, I was listening to this morning, it's happened before. Do you see what I'm saying? It's happened before where people within the party will always try to rise up against the leadership. So this one, listen to me for the few minutes that I have you. Don't focus on anybody on the outside. But begin to ask the Lord, just in case there is somebody close to me in my camp. There is somebody who is by my side. There is somebody that maybe I'm trusting too much. There is somebody that I've got too much faith in. And this person is eating me up. This person is messing. This person is frustrating. This person is plotting against me. Joseph. May that not be your story. May that not be my story. May that not be my story. Let strength rise up from my inside. And let me begin to see. Let me have x-ray vision. Let me see uninterrupted. Let me tap into the grace of God. Let me tap into the power of God. To see beyond my God. To see what is being planned. To see what is being done in secrecy. And you know what was so amazing yesterday? You know, they, the voting was done in secret. So you will never know who voted for or against unless they come out and they say it. You see what I'm saying? The voting was done in secret. So you would never know if somebody voted for or against the woman. The secret things belong to the Lord. God knows the hearts of man God knows everything and we are focused in on God and not man we are trusting our God and not man we are saying to our Savior that this morning this hour as we stand we declare the goodness of Elohim we declare the goodness of the Messiah we declare the goodness of Jesus Christ now and forevermore and we are accelerating this prayer to flash out and to fish out. To flash out and to fish out anything or anyone that is close to us, that is missing or that is giving information about us to something or somebody else on the outside. Any double agent that is close to us. Any double agent that is close to me, any double agent that is close to you, any double agent that is close to prayer mantle that I don't even know and I don't even suspect, may God begin to open up my mind, may God begin to open up my thoughts, may God begin to open up your mind, and may God begin to open up your thoughts in the name of Jesus. Even through the arena of visions and dreams, may He show you. That which is going on that you don't even know. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let not your humility. Let not your good character. Be used against you in Jesus name. Are you hearing me? Let not your humility, let not the fact that you are quiet, let not the fact that you are innocent, may it not become a negative thing against you. May the enemy not jump into that to affect you and to destroy you in Jesus' name. The blood of Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus. The precious blood of Jesus this morning. 
the blood of Jesus this morning. The precious blood of Jesus this morning. The precious blood of Jesus this morning. The precious blood of Jesus. Continue to be at work. Continue to be at work. Continue to be at work. In the mighty name of Jesus, we love you, O oh God. Let your name be lifted. And let your name be glorified. In the mighty name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. As we go about our day, God. May we not become victims. May we not become victims. May we not become victims. In the matchless name of Jesus. Let God arise. And let the enemies of God be scattered. In Jesus precious name we pray. Amen. Amen. Remember Psalms 9 verse 12. Remember that. Okay? Remember Psalms 9 verse 12. Remember Psalms 9 verse 12. Very important. Okay? The plans of wickedness. What the devil tries to do. What the wicked agenda is. Okay? Remember it. Okay? And remember Psalms 16 verse 4. Okay, Psalm 16 verse 4 As you go through this day With blessings No manipulation will work against you Anybody that tries to Use a form of blood sacrifice Against you It will not work Ah yes Lord I said it will not work If they try to use it against you On the job Because they want to advance themselves They want to go ahead of you they want to compete with you on the job. They want to have favor in front of the management and the CEO. So they want to shut you down. They want to bring you down so they can be elevated. May that not transpire in Jesus' name. As a matter of fact, when they plot, let them be exposed. We paralyze their ability to move. We disconnect them. And we disconnect you from their plots and their plans. In Jesus' name. Listen, whatever it is, okay, whatever is being done in secret by somebody to advance themselves to your detriment so that you can be brought low, so that you can be brought down, listen to me, it is not going to work. I don't care who they consult. I don't care the name of the idol. I don't care what they recite. I don't care what they burn on that altar. Don't care who, who, what chanting they do. Listen to me, listen. Especially those of you, you know, in the United Kingdom and, you know, in Europe, you got to understand that it's a whole bunch of cultures. Everybody has come with their own God and their own idol. You see what I'm saying? You, you, you just have to know that. Doesn't matter where you are now. You see what I'm saying? And whatever they do, it is a belief system that has been, you know, uh, taught to them that it works. You see what I'm saying? And they have seen some results from what they do. You see what I'm saying? And what you don't know, listen, listen, I mean, this statement that my mother-in-law made yesterday blessed me. Listen, the world, whether you like it, is in chaos. It's almost like it's upside down. If you pay attention to all the stuff, you know, listen, I'm not into that political thing, but you know, I was watching, you know, I think just this week, just to show you, you know when, I think it was it Nancy Pelosi and there was another gentleman and then the president, and they were given a, pre a press conference, and it was almost like they were arguing did you see that? I felt like, I'm like, oh Lord. I was like, oh Lord. Yeah. And I was like, I had never seen this kind of thing before. I'm like, I'm like, stop it. You know, like you, you, you know, you feel like, you, you know, you, you feel slightly embarrassed. I'm like, stop it. I'm like, stop it. I'm like, don't do that. You're on camera. You know, these are things that we're not accustomed to. But it's happening. You see, there is some sort of Something is not quite right. And listen, I'm not coming again. I'm just saying, it's like it doesn't match up. 
You see what I'm saying? It, it, it doesn't it doesn't match up. And I'm like, no. you don't know, like, you, you, you're like, don't do it, stop it. But that is, listen, this is the kind of voice. So, see, these things, when it happens up there, it just finds its way down. You see what I'm saying? So it seeps into all areas of society. So it's like all systems go. People will talk to you anyhow. People will act anyhow for their own purpose or their own agenda. And listen to me. If you keep quiet and think because you are righteous and because you are, you know, it's not going to affect you. You are the one that it is coming for. And so you better learn to protect yourself. Protect your house. Protect your business. Protect your company. Protect anything that you deem valuable so that when it comes, it doesn't affect you. You see what I'm saying? That is the least you can do. That is the least you can do. Amen? Amen. So please, be vigilant. Be, uh, keep your eyes open. Be focused. Stay prayerful. Don't be distracted. Don't be confused. You hear me? Let the Lord direct and let him continuously lead you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God is good. God is good. It is good that, you know what, Sister Cheryl, from January up until now, we can still see each other each day. It's a blessing. That's a blessing on its own. You see what I'm saying? That is a blessing. It means we have life. You hear my voice. I see you typing. It means that we have life. And that is one thing that the devil is upset about. We are still standing, prophet. It doesn't matter what has come our way. We are still standing. And we are learning. We're learning. Every day we're learning. We learn something new every day. God bless you. And we will finish strong. I'm telling you, we will finish strong. And, I, and I've said this to you. You know, listen. Sometimes it is not even about God taking away whatever the trial or the tribulation is or whatever the challenge is. But do you realize, do you realize that you just grow in your prayer life and then you begin to forget even about the whatever the devil is trying to do. You're just excited that you have a communication line open with God. That is amazing. That is amazing. So... We are grateful to God and we thank Him and we acknowledge Him in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, okay? Now go do yourself a favor. Have a blessed day. Some of you just need to get you a drink. Sit down and chill. Relax. Let the devil know who's in charge. I don't, I don't care what you've heard. Just, just get you a drink and relax. Amen? Because you are victorious in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Look, he had his photo shoot yesterday. He stood up. He's doing well. He's growing. We're excited about his life. Keep, keep him in prayer, okay? In Jesus' name, he's well. God bless you. Believe the report of the Lord. That's all, that's all we know. So we have. Thank you so much for your response, okay? In Jesus' name, amen. Mickey here. Yeah. He's standing. You know, I'm I'm training him. This man said, "Come on, Mickey, let's go for a walk." He's so much fun. You know, he's he's amazing. He's amazing. Just love him. Just love his spirit. We have to go to the hospital today. You know, I think he has to get one more jab. I believe. You know, you know how these things are. So, go today and yeah, he's fine. He's growing. He's sleeping. I'm sure, he be. I'm sure, he be waking up soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.
Thank you for not exposing me to my wife because she, she hasn't said anything, so I know she doesn't know. Thank you for those who, who, who are on the Lord's side. Bye-bye. See ya. Thank you. On the Lord's side. You didn't expose me. Sister Gertrude messaged me that she was going to expose me. So when you see her, tell her that she needs to repent. Lady Anne, I don't think so. I don't think so. Bye-bye.